Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is James, also known as Sleepy Flame from OSBot. Uh, this is my third time making this tutorial, so hopefully you guys appreciate it. Uh, I spent a lot of time doing and rendering these videos, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is going to be a Super Script Factory tutorial for those who have just bought it. Uh, it's an amazing script released by Dashboard, and uh, he spent a lot of time on it, so uh, we're all happy it finally got released, and I'm going to show you guys how to use it, because a lot of people had questions. Alright, so as you can see, I'm in Drainer, and we're going to do a Willow Chopper script kind of thing. I'm going to go through the actions and kind of explain them a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do it with your axe in your inventory, but also with your axe wielded, because uh, I know there's a lot of level 3s who need this too, uh, if you want to do this, blah, blah, blah. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is walk from the bank to the Willows over here. So we're going to want to add a walk action, and as you can see, there's like bank, walk, NPCs. There's so many different things, and it's really easy to get the hang of once you once you start looking at it. Uh, so we're gonna want to get the coordinates for walking, but first you're gonna want to go to settings on OSBot and tick position, so that way you can see your exact position of where you are. All right. So we're gonna want to go from the bank to the willows. So we're gonna click over here to get our first position, which will show up here. All right. So you're gonna go to new action walk. Walk 2 is basically just showing, um, it'll walk to the coordinates you set. It's really straightforward. Distance with range is just that amount of distance from the last tile that you're on, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's always been kind of tricky. You don't really need to worry about that too much. Uh, click run if at or over speci specific, oh my god, specified energy. And you can um, basically set the amount of energy you want the bot to run at. So if I'm at like 35, it'll click it and then. But I don't really mess with that for this. Alright, so the first walk action. Walk, walk 2, and we're going to want to type in the coordinates. 3087 is my X, 3238 is my Y, and uh, it, the Z coordinate is your height, which is right here. Uh, if you're on the second floor of somewhere, then it's probably going to be 1. So, But we're on the ground, so we're just going to put 0. And then you're going to want to do one more. I usually go over here. If you are level 3, I recommend going over here mm, because of the Dark Wizards. But Alright, so we're going to put another walk action, which is walk 2. My X is 3091. 3230 and 0. And now that we're, we've walked from the bank to here, that's all the actions we've had, uh, we're going to want to actually chop the willow. And uh, to do to get the ID of the object, you're going to want to go to settings and enable entity debugger. This is basically whenever you hover over something, it'll show you the ID and exactly what it is. Uh, as you can see, 12606, 12605, 12604. Um, I recommend, I use 12605. I feel like there's more trees over there. Yeah, there's like. 12605 is just better for me. So, uh, Since it's an object, we're going to go to the object action, and it's going to say interact with object. Now, as you can see right here, it says chop down willow. So the willow ID is 12605, so object interact. 12605 is the ID. Now when it says enter the option to click, that basically is just telling you like what you want it to do. For trees, it would be chop down. If you were talking to an NPC, it would be talk to. If you were opening a door, it would be open. Uh, but yeah, we're doing willow, so it's going to be chop down. So it's going to say, chop down willow. And um, after you chop it down, you're actually going to want to um, add a loop kind of thing. Um, because you don't want it to bank as soon as you get the first uh, log. So you're going to want to add a uh, go to label. And that's under script, go to. And then you click add go to label. But uh, if you do that, I also recommend doing this before you do chop down willow. Just because you need to add the loop. So just to use action options, set next action line basically is telling you you write the line that you want to put the next action on. So we're going to want to do it on two because we want it right before Willow. So action line two. So now this next action that we do is going to go to line two. So we're going to want to script go to add go to label and we can just name it woodcutting. So this isn't referring to anything yet. It's just kind of there. We got to add it. But so it's going to go here if it if it doesn't if it's like there and then it's gonna chop down the willow and it'll keep chopping until you are unanimated which is how you add it you go to script sleep sleep until unanimated uh, basically it's just saying it'll keep chopping the willow until you're not hitting it anymore and then it'll click it again so and then we're gonna want to refer back to the go to label which is really easy new action script go to and then <coughs> these are all the options you can do uh, we want it if the inventory is not full because we want our inventory to be full. So if inventory is not full, go back to wood cutting, and then it'll repeat this process until you have uh, a full inventory. So I'm gonna disable entity debugger because it makes me lag a little bit. All right. So I'm gonna chop one willow down, and once you have your first willow, we can start making the bank pack, uh, the path back to the bank. 
So you're going to want to make another walk action. So you can click over here. New action, walk, walk to. 3091 is my X. 3237 is my Y. And 0 is my height. And then add another one. Click in here. Alright, new action, walk to. 3092 is my X. 3247Y, 0 height. And I, d I usually do another walk action right in front of this bank booth here. New action, walk two, three, zero, nine, two, three, two, four, five, zero. All right, now we're going to want it to actually open the bank, deposit everything. This is where you look in if you're a skiller. It's a little different. It's not much, though. It's all right, so you're going to want the new action, bank, and these are all the bank options you have. We're going to want to open the bank because we want to deposit it. And then when we're in the bank, we want to deposit all. But if you're a skiller, click deposit all except and then type in the axe ID here press enter and then press negative one to finish and it won't bank your axe it'll back it'll bank everything except for your axe but since I'm wielding it I'm gonna go to bank deposit all and then bank close bank and then once it does that it's gonna loop back up to the original walk we had in the beginning chop keep doing it until you have a full inventory and then it's gonna walk to the bank deposit all etc and it'll keep repeating itself um, that's really it. It's really a basic script, and once you get the hang of it, you'll absolutely love it like I do. Um, I plan to do a lot of different like tutorials with this, and if you guys need any help at all with it, please PM me. I will gladly help you. Um, if you're talking to an NPC, you'd go to NPC, interact with NPC, and then like say you want to talk to, I don't know, a banker. We type in the NPC's name, and then we would type talk to. So that way it would say talk to with banker. But I'm not, I don't need that, obviously. Alright, but that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, if you need anything, let me know. And uh, I'll gladly make more of these. I'm probably going to make a dragon, a dragon hide tanner. Uh, a couple other things. I, I actually plan to do quests with this script, too. Like, I feel like that would be a great investment to work on. And, uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. I'm just rambling on. So I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, bye.